Hello and welcome to Dawn of a Soul. That's a pre-release copy that I got uh, and I wanted to make a let's play. Uh, it's supposed to be a puzzle game. I looked into the tutorial a bit. Um, but uh, here I can go back to the beginning. So let's start a new game. First of all, what options do I have? Show me more options. Uh, I want to forget everything and start over again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Welcome. A mind, but without a soul. Only sparks that bear witness to the former splendor. You surely want your soul back? Fine, there is only one condition. You need to solve all of my puzzles. So we don't want to lose any time and start right away. <sighs> okay, let's begin. For each solved puzzle you get one or two shards of your soul back. The shards of your soul are these with these these white blazing little flames. White soul shards. As soon as you have brought all of the white soul shards to light, your soul will be whole again. For each achieved score of a puzzle you get a white soul shard. So uh, that's three. That's the uh, goal. You achieve the score by summing up the colored soul shards. Okay. If you sum up these red soul shards, you achieve the score of 3. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. To sum up the red soul shards, you need to move the mouse over one of the soul shards. For example, the left one. Click the left mouse button now, like this. Now select the soul shards you want to sum up by pointing with the mouse on one soul shard after another. So one and two. And there is a three. All right, now you have uncovered a white soul shard with your selection. To confirm your selection, press the left mouse button. Okay, excellent. Sometimes you will see this sign. If you click on it, I will re repeat my explanation. Okay, got that. There is one more thing, never forget, it's always about achieving the score in the puzzles. Okay. So, we do this, 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 and this. And there's five. I need to left click. Excellent! What do we need now? Six. Okay, I think this is as far as I played before. Excellent. Very good. Okay, if you don't like your selection, you can change it by tracing the path in reverse. Okay, interesting. You can also undo a whole move by clicking the right mouse button. Okay, that's also good. Ten. I need ten. And I have five and five. So let's start here. Go this way, this way, this way, this way. There it is. Excellent! <laughs> I like the response. Excellent. That's good. 13. Um, so let's start here. How many do I need? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Got them all. As you can see, there are soul shards in different colors. Okay. What does that mean? Once you start a selection with one specific color, you have to continue with this color. Uh huh. But there is one exception. You have certainly noticed that the marker changing changes during the selection. 
And one out of six fragments will be added with each soul shard. Okay, didn't notice that yet. Okay. <laughs> as soon as you have collected six fragments, you will receive one color changing point. A color changing point allows you to continue your selection in another color anytime. Okay, I think I got that. But you will lose one color changing point as soon as you execute a color change. You see? Besides, keep in mind, the more soul shards you collect, the more color changing points you gain. Okay, so I can have more than one color changing points at the same time, I think. And now it is your turn again. Huh. So, I mean, this is pretty obvious. Two, three, yeah, four, five, six. Now I have this, so I can go here. You certainly wonder what happened. How could you reach 14 points with only 7 soul shards? Yeah, that's interesting. It is quite simple. The points of the current selection will be always multiplied with a multiplier. 7 times 2. In the lower left corner you will always see the sum of your collected soul shards. 7 times 2 though. Where does the times 2 come from? Right next to it you will see the current multiplier. At the beginning of a selection, the multiplier has always a value of 1. The multiplier increases this increases by 1 with each color change. As a result, you double the number of points. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I just need to click and that's it. Excellent! <coughs> the marker indicates the color of the current selection. If the current selection is red, also the mark is red. Uh -huh. If the current selection is yellow, also the mark is yellow. Okay, 24. That means 12 or 6. 6. And I changed that once, but I can't change it back again. But it's 12 with 1 change actually right so it's one two three four five six times two and one two three four five six and that's it those are the simple ones I fear that these puzzles will become very difficult quite soon <laughs> okay here we basically have the same problem First all the red ones, and then I already fucked up, because I can't go back there. I need to do that the other way around, I guess, yes. So let's cancel this one and start here. That also won't work. Huh. But I can only do two changes. Oh yeah, sure that works, like this. Here we go, there, 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 and like this. Good. No, it's excellent! Hmm. So far every soul shard had a value of 1. From now on, the values 2 and 3 are added. Ah, okay, I see. This means you will get 2 fragments for a soul shard that has a value of 2, Probably three fragments for a soul shot that has a value of three. Yeah. Okay. Move it, move it. Next, please. Uh, okay, I need 24. So that's six, and that's also six. So, again, this is all just tutorial stuff here. Excellent! In some puzzles you will see this sign. Mm -hmm. If you click on it, a possible starting point for a solution will be shown. So that's a hint style thingy. Attention! In most cases, it won't show you the most perfect solution. Okay. I see. And what is this here? Up here? What is this? This is the information, this is the hint, and 
I don't know what this is. And it's 76. Whoa. So, what do we have here? We have six of these, and they add up to... 5, 11, 13. And I have to change twice. So that's times 4. 76 divided by 4 is... 19, right? Or something like that. Yeah, 19. So we have... Uh, what was that? Forgot again. Already 5, 11, 13. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 6, 19. Okay, I get it. Um, uh, yeah, so um, I'll go here first. No, that's not that's not correct. Wait, this is thirteen, so I get two change points. But I have to go from there to there. Oh man, it's not so easy. What happens if I try to do this? Like with five, I can't go here. I just can't go here. I see. So I need six here, like this maybe. No, I need actually one more. Or does that count again? Like what happens if I start here? Like this. Now I have one change point. I can go here. Do I get another change point now? Yes, I do. So I go here, and here, and here. And that's it. Yep. Excellent! Whoops! Now you're ready for a new feature. Ugh. It's getting too complicated too quickly. So far your selection must be completed within one turn. From now on there will be puzzles which require more than only one turn. Mm -hmm. For example, this puzzle only solved by doing two turns. Oh yeah, they're in the back uh, and on the right side. Do you like your last turn? No? You can do it by clicking the right mouse button. Okay. Well, I guess there isn't so much that I can't like about these turns here. So I do this and then I start here, I see. Again with a separate le left click. Excellent! Uh-huh. I need six. Good. Did this? Mm-hmm. I need 21. I have two turns. So that's uh, sort of... I need six. Wait, wait, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven points, so I would have to double, like, oof, 11. Uh, how many do I double? That's the question now. That's actually a mathematical problem. Um, if I could double 10 points... Mm, And then do a next turn, yeah, why why not? I just do like this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this one. Yeah. In some puzzles you will be able to achieve more than one white soul shard. Twenty-four or forty, okay. We still need only one of them to complete the current puzzle and start a new one. Only one of them to complete the puzzle. Ah, okay, 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 I get it, huh? This means if you struggle with a second soul shard, you can move on and come back later to collect a second one. I see. So I can end this with a sum of 24 or do 40 in this puzzle. But be aware, you will only get your whole soul back if you manage to collect all white soul shards. Oh yeah, okay. That's more interesting here. Um, let's see again how many points I do have here. That's 4, 8, plus 5. That's 11. Uh, 13, sorry. Uh, this is 
Did I count properly? No, that's four. No, 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 I didn't count properly. We have four on each side, so that's eight plus six. So that's fourteen. Mm -hmm. I have two turns. Uh, 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 uh. I could do a change there and multiply this, but I would need two changes. Wait, um, I could do two changes. Let me just see how this works. We can try a bit. I get one change and another change here. And I can change here again, but I can't go there. Oh no, I have a second move, yeah, and that's the 40. Well, that was easier than it looked, but just trying. So far you did a very good job. Yeah, well, sure. <laughs> what did you expect? But this was just the beginning. Uh, <laughs> your soul consists of 97 soul shards, and how many did I get so far? And you obtained already 15. Okay, well, there's quite a lot left. There are still a lot of challenging puzzles waiting for you. Hmm. Let's get a better overview. I see. Uh huh. Okay. Altogether, you will face eight different puzzle collections. You've completed the first puzzle collection masterfully and unlocked three other puzzle collections. Yes, those three. Okay, I see. The remaining four puzzle. Oh, look. You can unlock the remaining four puzzle collections by finishing the preceding ones. Yeah, okay. I see. At the right top corner of the screen you will see the number of already collected soul shards. Fifteen. Now choose one of the three, three puzzle collections. Don't worry. You can switch from one puzzle collection to another one at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At any time. And... Ah, I need to choose now. Okay. Um, so, uh, I guess we'll just go straight to the front, right? Each single spark or a pair of sparks represents an unsolved puzzle. The marker indicates the next choosable of unsolved puzzles. Eh? Uh, what? Go for it. Ah, so this is the collection here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine puzzles here. Is that correct? Uh, so, yeah, this is... And I can't choose this one? No. So I need to go there. Ooh, 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 ooh. That looks pretty difficult. Hmm. Well, um, it's safe to say that these are uh, interesting puzzle mechanics. Um, I wonder... Uh, 135. Let's see, I have 8 and 4, that's 12. So if I complete these parts here, I already have, but I could do it this way actually. Yeah, let's start from here. What? Ah, no, and I didn't want to want to click. I just wanted to, like, I always left click. Here I get another changing point, and one more here, one here, and one here, and one here, and one here, and one there. Well, ooh, that looks interesting. Nine. I need nine, and I have. <sighs> The book six and six. No, wait. How many? Six and three. Yeah, nine. So it's just a way uh, a question of finding the right path. But shouldn't this be as simple as this? I go on here and here and here. That's still quite simple. Mm-hmm. I guess this is more or less a question of like trying to figure out where you start um, the thing, but here we have problems already. Uh -huh. I think I should start here. 
Let's just try. I mean, you can always try in this puzzle. And you go here. Uh-huh. Okay. Do I get another changing point here? No, I, I don't. Hmm. Ah, oh, well, I could have gone the other way, like this, and then this way, probably, yeah. It's mostly likely a good starting point here. Yes, we have two changing points, that's good. So that we can get another one, like this. And I think that probably these puzzles are built like this. I mean, logically, it's probably likely that once you get all um, sh soul shards like on the on the on the table on the on the playing field, you achieve the maximum amount of uh, numbers. Also, like eight eight hundred sixteen is probably the maximum you can get. You can't get more, I guess. <coughs> um, so it's mostly a question of like the order of uh, how you collect these. Um, shards. Um, here I would assume that the best way to start is somewhere here, maybe? Yeah, I start here. Like collect as many changing points and keep away back always. Okay, um, I have two changing points left. Hmm. And I have one shot, so I need five. And then I still have two left. Hmm. I guess I'm going here. And there. And there. Oh, now I have no changing point left. So there's no way to go on, I see. It's a very interesting puzzle, uh, I gotta say, but... Um, hmm. I think in this one it's pretty safe to say that I have to start somewhere on this side here. <coughs> and um, since these are cut off, I need to do them. So this is... Like, I actually think... Oh wait, I could take these also, right? Maybe. I have one now, and three to go. No, that doesn't work. Because if I go here, I can't change back. So I can go back all this way. Hmm. Well, um, I wonder if it's possible to, like, scribble these fields down in sort of a mathematical equation. Somehow I think you could do that with x's and y's and stuff uh, that equal 816, sort of, but uh, it's probably quite difficult to do that. And just easier to try, but, uh, like, if I do what I did, let's do that again. Um, now I could do this, uh, it's a five, and there are six, I could try and get this first, but then I need to change so much, uh, let's try that, to go here, there to build up some changing point power and it's not enough I guess if I go here I have no changing points left I have one now but I will not be able to reach the two mm. the red two I could I can do this now 
No, wait. Uh, yeah, I have to go here. I can get the first one, but I can't go on here. Hmm. But I'm still somehow sure that the beginning is okay, because like it's taking care of a huge amount of like like colored fields. Can I do this in another fashion? And the remaining field is more or less like it's it's the same. Uh, it doesn't matter from where I enter the right side of the field or or the center part of the field. Uh, <laughs> Once I go all the way up, I can't get that stuff. That's the problem. Wait, I have two changing points and I... Why don't I go like this? I have one now. And I have one field, so I can just go up here, right? And I get one more. Oh, okay. Now I obviously need to collect all yellow ones. I have two already and I need four more. That should work, yeah. Actually, it's that simple. I was thinking too complicated actually. Yeah, there it is. Interesting. Yeah, that's a nice puzzle game. I think I'll play here until the end uh, of this level. Well, maybe not exactly. It depends on how long it'll take me. Um hmm. <laughs> I guess I'll start here. I'll try that now. Get all the yellow ones first of all. And that gives me only one changing point. Another changing point there. I need two more. Hmm. I guess we'll go this way. Oh, I see now that the blue point is already lost. The blue one at the at the bottom. I can't get like this. I thought I'd do something like this here. But that's missing one point. That is the problem. Um so let's grab this soul shard and go back. Let's see. Well done. It's not excellent, but well done at least. Let's see how I get back. I think it's with this one here, right? Then. And now, yeah, here. This is what I solved already. So let's go back here. Okay, I get it. Hmm. Um. So how to grab this one before all the rest? One, two, three. Four from there, I can't go. Maybe I'll go this way. Uh, no, as long as I don't end this there. Hmm, can I go another way from here? Like that was the original idea that I had go this way but then I need to change to blue again up there and I don't know if I can change back that easily I have one and I only get two but like this that would work actually so now I need six and there are six in there um, but I need to go here first so actually oops no no like this this is what I wanted to do one. What I? Oh wait, I missed one. I, I want to go here. This one. No, I'm missing two. Then. Uh huh. That's interesting. So I can't do that change up there apparently. Uh huh. Hmm. But if I go here, I'll not be able to do that. Hmm. Those are six. Can 
I start here maybe? Go all the way around, but then I'm missing this one. From here, uh, <laughs> well, I think I'll just try and solve this one, and then this video is over. Um, it's long enough, at least. Um, hmm. 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 This is the first puzzle game I'm doing a little let's play of, so uh, you will see me. Uh, like struggling with puzzles also. Uh, if I start here I can take this away, but how does that help me if I could go here and then there? And then this one is again... Mm, I could maybe try it like this. Um, no, wait, uh, how do I get this then? Hmm. I have seven switches. And I have one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, six colors. So I can use one switch to the next color and wait, if I start here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, ah, it's because I say, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From this one, I need to change to that one. So let's try it like this. Yeah, that could work actually. Mm. I know I can't reach there. Oh yes. Go red all the way around. Grab the blue ones. That's one switch. And then I can go to yellow and to blue and back. And now, no, I need two more switches. Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. You can see I. Oops, no, I didn't want to go there. I wanted to go here, there, and then I don't even have enough power to do the changing back. Well, I guess it's safe to say that the one has to come at the end. But then I need to change from this to this, maybe. No, but then this one is ah uh, man. There, like these these different colors are intellect in a in a, in, a, in such a way that it's I, I don't know how to collect ah, this one and this one and this one. No, it doesn't work. Oh, wait. Wait, isn't it the one that I did only starting from here? Like the first one I did, I should have just started with the blue ones, I think. Because then I have one switch back and forth with the blue ones there. Do I have enough here? Yes. Okay, that's it. Yep. And there we go. Okay, yeah. That's really uh, a nice puzzle game. I like it. Um, I'm not sure if it's strong enough, the puzzle idea, to carry on to the end. Because there's lots of puzzles and um, I'm, I'm a bit like, uh, like eventually it will become too much trial and error, maybe. But so far, uh, I really like it um, to to try and figure out the solution. Uh, it depends on how these puzzles are constructed. Um, I will stop this video here, uh, but I'll go on playing uh, uh, in my next video. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, be sure to check this game out. It's called Dawn of a Soul. It will be released on October 10th. That's in what is today? In seven days, one week. Um, uh, and give it a try. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, I hope you will check me uh, check the next video also. Until then, I say bye.